normal late night crowd. I immediately sense someone approaching me, so I turn around to face them. It's about time. Hey guys, Kuderi Ghost here, and welcome back to Fruits of the Literature Club. So, nevertheless, I drink it. Okay, eat this. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's get fruity, my dudes. Okay. <laughs> so Monica, why is it that you started your own club? From what I've seen so far, there are a few large-scaled clubs already. <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politic uh, the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for the events. I'd ra I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and making some and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club in a competition against all the others. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Well, their club's technically not a club yet, so I mean, they can't really advertise it, can they? Guess not. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow uh, this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay. Uh, such different girls, all interested in the same girl. <laughs> such interesting girls, all interested in the same girl. Yay, English. Thank you, uh, Brain, for speaking correctly English. Okay. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Although I don't intend to lower my guard on this getting Ku to join the club shtick Sayori has. So Ku, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, um, I don't really have a pref uh, preference. I will read pretty much anything that I find. No preference? What was the most recent thing that you read? An educational book about birds. Oh. Why birds, if you don't mind me asking? Just felt like it. That time it was genuine. <laughs> I read pretty much anything I can. I read pretty much anything that I can. And I happen to come across a book about bird spotting. That is pretty interesting, if you say so. Uh, why, what do you like to read, Yuri? Well, let's see. She likes to read horror. Okay, we got it. <laughs> My favorite, yeah, 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 deep complex things. And then, yes, okay. She seems so reserved and timid uh, since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a, uh, yep, okay, 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 okay. I guess you could say that, but uh, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What, what, what gives you that idea? Sorry, I skipped that, but it's like the same stuff that is in normal DDLC, so you guys know it, okay. Uh, you left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called, don't say it out loud, and give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. So you write your own poems, eh? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's rather impressive nowadays. Uh, do you want to read your poem? I don't, I don't know what that said. Okay, no, 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 no. Why? Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not, very, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vul vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable enough to share hers. Okay, that was a, that was a great sentence of mine. Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't the mod. Okay, it was me. <laughs> okay, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. 
Isn't that right, Koo? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. I raise my index finger. Huh? What's that? Uh, re remember, I, w I said I wasn't interested at this time. I'm only here as uh, Sayori's escort home. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Okay, he can't. He can't deal with this, okay? <clears throat> it's probably the best that I just tell you flat out right now. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. I remember. Better than for me to lie to you all. The girls continued to look defeated and heartbroken. Dang it, I forgot how difficult it was to get out of, out of these situations with girls. I remember, uh, I keep remembering back to the first time it really affected me. Okay. Dang it, Ashley. I look down at the floor and back up a second later. Uh, the girls are still fixed on me with her eyes. Ugh, I'm gonna have to do this crap, aren't I? Here it goes. But that doesn't mean it won't change. That's great. That gives us a little leeway to try to convince you. Monica rises up and smiles confidently. Her eyelids are shut, but I can pra practically see their excitement. Dude, wait. Her eyes are slightly open though. That's so weird. That's so weird. Yes. Sayori raises both of her hands in joy. I guess that's okay. If I find out this was all for the cupcakes, I will be super crappy pissed, okay? Everyone, <laughs> I think uh, with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Monica looks to each of the girls. Everyone remembered tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. The girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Okay, Ku, are you ready to walk home? Very much so. Yay. I hear some weird clicking, okay? I don't know what it is. Uh, with that, the two of us depart the club room and begin to make our way home. It's not the game, okay? It's something I hear actually here, okay? <laughs> it might be my headphones, I'm not sure. Uh, the sun was out and blazing with little to no clouds obstructing it. It is rather hot today, which makes you, which makes my run later a little more arduous. But not like I really care. I have done many runs, some monitored in much hot, hotter temperatures. I'm sure you have, you secret agent, you, okay? And that is pretty difficult, as we were given a limited amount of water for the entire run. Okay, that's an oof. Our walk so far was not bad. Sayori struck up a few conversations about what I do outside of school. I, of course, am not going to tell her about the truth of what I do. I have more than one document restricting me from doing so. I just simply shrug and respond, Ah, nothing really. Huh? There's... You mean there's nothing you do out of, outside of school? Well, I guess I have a part-time job, but that's really only when they need me. And lately it's been pretty slow, so I guess I don't really do any working. Well, what did you do before you came here? At my old school? Well, I was in a large building where the students lived. At least my class. Your old class? Yeah. Whenever we weren't doing anything, uh, some of us sat around doing nothing. And some of us just picked up more extra credit work. Which one were you? <laughs> I think the answer is obvious. Sayori shoots me a que question and glare which I didn't acknowledge. Okay, well, uh, what type of job do you have? It's not important. Sure it is. Come on, Ku. I'm telling you about me. Can't you do that too? It's like I'm talking to a brick sometimes. Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> Judging my uh, facial expression, Sayori sticks her tongue out at me. Meanie. My life secrets must be earned, my sweet blue-eyed angel. <laughs> okay, Sayori's eyes go wide. That's a joke, by the way. Sayori continues her barrage of questions all the way until we reach our neighborhood. Oh, we're here. Yep. I turn my back to her and start to walk to my house. Wait, Ku. What? Thank you for walking me home and going to the literature club with me. You use some cheeky tri little tricks to achieve those milestones. But it's fine. You're welcome, Sayori. <clears throat> Got him. <laughs> Even Sayori can get to a secret agent, my dude. He's like, <laughs> no will is strong enough. My phone rings. I reach into my coat pocket and grab it as I lean back on the tree. It was a dark night and the brush around me didn't allow any large pockets of moonlight in. I'm here. Good, get ready. I end the call and slide my phone back into my coat. I keep my posture against the tree and notice a, co a commotion down below. I look down for my perch into the street below a black rolls royce pulls up to the curb uh several men get out of the car a valet a valet quickly accepts it and drives towards the nearby parking garage normal late night crowd i immediately sense someone approaching me so i turn around to face them it's about time okay oh 
Okay, fair enough. I close my locker and get ready for lunch. But of course, I am stopped. Haiku. Hey, what is it you need? I just wanted to see if you were okay. Huh? Well, I saw you leaving your house pretty late last night. You were watching me? Uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> I just happened to notice you uh, leaving as I was going to bed. Hmm. Well, I went to go run an errand. I lean back on my locker and run my hands through my hair. Uh, Sayuri leans forward while clutching her backpack. Well, I was just curious. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going now. I lean back upwards and start off away from Sayori. Oh, one more thing, Ku. Can we walk home again today? I raise my hand to my face and scratch my forehead. You're gonna make me wait around that in that club again, aren't you? Well, I kind of have to go there. I, I, I have to go there after school, dude. Okay, I guess. Might as well. I have nothing better else to do. Uh, sighing, I come to realize uh, that there was probably a book there that I could read as I wait. Yay! I'll see you there uh, there after school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he sounds so enthusiastic. Why is she picking him, dude? <laughs> Before I enter the club, the club room, Sayuri waited outside for me. As I walked up, I knew exactly what she was trying to do. She was waiting to see if I actually showed up. Well, I guess it's my fault for doing so. The door closed behind both of us. I'm shrouded in a much different atmosphere than the normal school projects. Haiku, good to see you back again. Monica walks towards me, still putting on her everlasting smile. Yeah, well, I'm here until Sayori goes home. Still here for when she walks home, right? Mm-hmm. Well, today we are uh, reading our poems, so I hope you enjoy it. Sure. I can't wait. I'm super excited to read everyone's poems. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Not as excited, Yuri? Not at all. To be fair, not many people can get excited like Sayori does. Uh, from the few days I've known her, I can understand that. Thanks for coming back, Ku. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a circumstance for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to be here. If you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ma 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 ma. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. The swiftly defeated uh, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Hmm. I survey the girls' conversation. So it looks like I have a profile down for each one of these girls. Okay, that's that's weird. Sayori is an energetic ditz. Uh, Natsuki is aggressive. Yuri is very shy and tentative. And Monica is a leader. Granted, these are simplified perceptions of them, but nonetheless, they aren't bad girls. I lean back in my seat, grab one of the books from my bag, and place it on my lap. Don't worry, guys. Ku is a pretty hard worker. He usually does all of his school schoolwork in class, and he does pretty well. Our school, our, our social studies teacher was astonished. I don't know exactly what you're hyping me up for. I just did my work as instructed. Oh, oh. Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori? You bought something for me? Or you brought something for me? Uh, n not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it really isn't. Uh, w what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I can tell that Yuri is uncomfortable. She says sh she shifts in her seat and looks away nervously. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice <clears throat> any nice gesture from you is a present is a pleasant surprise. All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button to become a ghost. And I will see you next time. Peace.